Lazar, the head coach of the Belleville Wildcats. And Tom, this is what you have worked to rebuild too, to get in a, a tough ball game, to get into a situation where the kids have to find a way to win. You, you came close. You, you got a tie or a lead there in the second half, still a four-point game in the fourth quarter. And, and, you know, composure will always be the last thing to come, I suppose. Yeah. And tonight, uh, that might have been the, the, the difference. Yeah, we, you know, we got it. We had to work so hard to get it back. I think 29-29 is, I think, is what we got it to. And then, you know, as you develop a program and the mentality of just poise and playing down the stretch and, you know, I just told them that when adversity rears its head, how do you respond? And all year long, we've been really solid. I've been very proud of what they've done. And tonight, it just it, it just caught up to us. Yep. And and it really cost us. And, and I thought New Blair has played with really nice poise down the stretch. And you know, we're going to learn from it. And I told them that's the only thing we can do. And that's the, the lessons that, that athletics teaches us in life is what are you going to do tomorrow? You know, and, and how are you going to respond? And, we have to as this, as this program kind of matures. This classroom has everything but the chalkboard, and, and I know Garrison Woods is feeling bad about his technical, but he played a whale of a ball game. Jared Rear was held to five points through three quarters. He wouldn't have been in the position had it not been for Garrison through through that point. Absolutely, and, we, and that's what we talked about before the game. Is that we, you know, at some point, Jared is going to need some help, and it, it is about what we do, not what he does in terms of our team. And, we challenge a kid, somebody's got to step up, and if not somebody, multiple kids. And I thought G-Dub did a good job of doing that. But, you know, again, it's it's that the, the maturation phase of, you know, hey, you get a call, you got to play through it, you got to have that next play mentality. And that's that's what we're going to learn from tonight. Zimmerman, for them, not, you know, they're one big guy yeah. and, and had a big game. We had him for six out of his seven rebounds were on the offensive glass and then had that monster block on Jared. And, you know, from Jared's perspective, I'm sure he felt he was fouled, right. but, you know, because it, it was pretty shadowy yeah. in there. But, uh, you know, again, a guy who was probably frustrated more than usual tonight, right. and, and it shows some emotion in your team that probably hasn't been there in a while. Right. And, and you know, and again, like I said, we can't keep depending upon Jared. He's done a great job for us. Again, it's, it's about what we do, and we do need some help. And when that happened, again, you just gotta you got to play through it, and whether it's a, whether it's a good call or a bad call, it's, it's what it is. And, and you just got to go down and get, get some energy on the defensive side. And when we didn't do that, it kind of crept away, and, you know, and, and it slipped, it slipped away from us. Their two big guns had big first quarters. Vandenberg, I believe, with nine, and, and Kreklow with seven. What did you do to try to, you know, contain them in the second because they kind of were quiet for a while. Well, we thought, I think, 22-27 in the first half, and we had talked about going to a triangle and to a, a little bit of a shadow, and we did, and we just got, we just didn't close out. And, you know, and again, with these kids, they're going to make shots, or if they're going to miss, then you got their big kid just pounding us, and he's just burying us under the basket because we're looking at the shot mm -hmm. instead of getting a body on a body. And then they're kind of looking at me like, why aren't we getting a call? And it's like, hey, you gotta, you gotta be physical, and so a lot of things to learn from, and that's that's what I want them to take from tonight. What was the most pleasing thing, Tom, about the comeback? The thing that got you the, you know, equalized or the lead early in the, that third quarter, and then and then got you, you know, within four there early in the fourth. Yeah, it, all year we've had that the, the perseverance. We, we've been able to come back, and I told them at the timeout. I said, here we go. This is gonna, this is it. This is where it's going to go for us. And and I think looking them in the eye, I think they believed it, and it's just. It, it's just got to keep going, and I was—I'm just pleased that this kid, this team has some fight. You know, it, it's you know the, the technicals. It's an emotional part of the game, and we ha we can't get caught up in that. It's the officials' job to make the call, and they're they're doing the best that they can do, and it, it's their call, and we can't get caught up in the emotion, especially in a rivalry game like this. And so the thing I was proud about is the fact that we, we just again played with some emotion when we were down by a little bit. Because big picture, you know, had you not come back from that first half for first quarter hole, then you're wondering what's life going to be like in this conference. Right. Obviously, a lot of people feel that Marshall and Cambridge are the yeah. class, but based on what we saw in non-conference play, nobody's head and shoulders right. above, and with the effort you saw tonight, you got to be pretty eager for these conference, yes. these 10 conference games yeah. as Absolutely. Travis talked and about. and that's what we talked about. It, it, it's not over because we lost tonight. It's not over because... There's so much to go. We got we've got Wisconsin Heights on Friday, and and if, if that's you know if New Glarus is our first rival, I gotta believe Heights is our second mm -hmm. from what I can tell. And um, you know we're just we're gonna tee it up tomorrow at five o'clock for practice, and and it's go time. Well, Tom Lazar, a very entertaining game.